Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Hugo Correa and this channel is about construction, remodeling and decorations for your house. Um, and in this case as um, a set of videos that I'm doing in this house that was purchased to flip for profit. In other words, you find a house that has a potential to be uh, remodeled and then sold for profit and then you just you know do some upgrades like the ones that I'm doing in this and I want to show you uh, the steps that you uh, need to take. So there's uh, some more videos about the, the topic and I encourage you to take a look at that and other videos that I have. I have hundreds of videos that will give you a lot of information. So um, let's talk about the electricity in a remodel house. Um, when you are working in a house and you are touching uh, something that uh, will be um, uh, considered as an upgrade or something, you need to follow or you need to comply with the codes, in this case the National Electric Code or the International Electric Code that is pretty much the same thing. Uh, well, not the same thing, but you know, they, they rule by the same standards and um, they change from state to state, from country, country to country because um, obviously there are more requirements in some places and the temperatures are different and the conditions are different in different places. But anyway, Let's uh, continue with some um, basic rules when you are wiring your kitchen. Um, pretty much when um, you, have, you have different elements, like you have a main breaker in the house, a main circuit panel or, or electric box or service box, however you want to call it, that will provide all that is providing all the power for your house. And uh, therefore, uh, things are connected to the box depending with a breaker that will uh, give the power uh, that is necessary for that particular fixture or that uh, item that you're going to attach to, right? Or that element. So, uh, what happens is that when you remodel in a kitchen, um, and this is a trend that has been happening for many years, meaning like we increase the amount of appliances that we use in the kitchen, you need to, uh, um, you know, make the necessary adjustments so you can provide the uh, power that these uh, elements or so these appliances are going to use. So there are some rules that pretty much you can use that are, that are important. Everything that has a motor has to have its own independent um, line. That's something that, so sometimes you will find, you will go into like seven breakers for the kitchen. And that is because some of these uh, um, appliances will suck a lot of power and if you combine them they will just trap all the power and they will suck too much power from the, the, the breaker itself. Right? So what you have there is going to be the refrigerator. Put a line separated for your refrigerator. Right? Uh, if you're going to have a dishwasher, and that one is a, is a 20 amp breaker. If you're going to have a, a dishwasher, use a 15 amp breaker. And what I'm doing over here, that's, that's the outlet over there. You can actually hardwire this thing or put an outlet in a plug and your dishwasher, which is kind of better neat. Uh, easier to work instead of just kind of wiring all the stuff in the bottom. Uh, and I put a, 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 a switch for that um, so you have a little extra protection on, on that particular thing. You can again wire it directly from your panel. Now, um, you're seeing uh, two different type of colors there. The yellow and the white. Now, the white um, cable, these are Romex cables and sometimes in other states you require to use other type of wiring. But these ones are uh, thinner. These are number 14 gauge, right? And the uh, yellow ones are number 12. That will carry power up to a 20 amp breaker and the uh, white ones are the 15 amp breaker. Now, when you have a, um, a kitchen, also you're gonna have lighting, obviously. And for the lighting, it's recommended to have one breaker. It can be a 15 amp breaker that will power up all your stuff and, and because I have a lot of uh, lighting so I have three lights here two lights on top of the of the sink that's going to be there and, and four lights under the cabinets I'm using a 20 amp breaker for that one it's okay as long as you use that, that yellow wire that is going to provide power to your switches now you see the amount of switches that are there and here these are three-way switches meaning that you can turn on and off here and also you can turn on and off here right so we have the switch for the lights on top of the, the um, um, sink and switch for the main lights and switch for the lights that are under the, under the cabinets, right? So um, that yellow wire that you see coming to this thing that has like a little dot, let me, let me just make a little adjustment here, okay? That is a GFI 
or GFCI breaker. That means that, I mean, uh, outlet. That means that this will help to prevent any type of uh, um, uh, issue with uh, power that will, you know, will, will try to suck a lot of power, or it's a short, or it's a water damage, I mean, a, a water short, or, you know, whatever. Whatever can cause uh, an issue, um, this breaker will actually stop it from there. And if you have a lot of bre I mean, a lot of outlets in your kitchen, this is this is a really small kitchen. Then you have to have at least two of them. In this case, we just have four outlets and I'm powering them with this one. Uh, all, all, all of them with you know uh, 12 inch, I mean uh, 12 gauge uh, wiring. Now, the wire that you see here is a wire for the microwave hood. Again, this one is connected independently to uh, the breaker, the breaker box or the service panel. Now, um, this wire that is going to be hanging here, hanging here, there, that those are wires that, although they are kind of a staple, um, you have to have, you know, some certain amount of staples at least uh, to you maintain everything nice and secure. So make sure that you have all those staples that will help you to sustain all those wires and don't have them loose. But in this case, uh, these are like extra long because I'm going to put a box over there. Uh, once I put all the insulation, before I put the insulation, I want to make this video. But anyway, um, so these these um, outlets are served with their own uh, breaker, right? Um, what else can I say when you're doing this thing? If you're putting heating on the floor, if you're putting some radiant heat or something like that, that has to have its own breaker with uh, obviously following the guidelines or whatever material you're going to use in the bottom. It may be that you need to use a 220 with a a uh, 12 gauge wire that is going to power that one is going to be by itself so you need to follow other stuff obviously it's going to be a breaker for that so um they, that that's it that, that's something that you need to again have in consideration let's recap make sure that everything that has a motor like your microwave hood refrigerator dishwasher and um you know other uh, elements that you're going to find they have their own uh, switch the lights I mean their own breaker the lights with their own breaker um, obviously the you know if you have a stove it's gonna have their own that one is a 50 amp it has number six uh, gauge wire that is gonna go directly there make sure that you um, get more information about how to wire that stuff that can kill you you know and sometimes you know what happens that some people put an extra outlet on the side a regular 110 uh, wire um, you know outlet so it can actually power up your gas stove you're gonna have a stove and some people have the possibility so they put a, an extra outlet there to serve that purpose so um, that's pretty much it those are the things if you have a lot of more information please help us please help us to understand a lot more about this uh, and avoid any type of issues in the future with your wiring and all the stuff so if you're not a subscriber please subscribe if you have any questions please let me know and I'll be happy to assist you in the stuff and always be careful if you don't feel comfortable working with this uh, please hire a, a licensed electrician that can do all the work for you so thank you and I'll see you in the next one bye bye thank you so much for watching my videos if you want to see a lot of more content and you want to follow my channel please subscribe here and why not to see this this or that video so I'll see you in the next one bye bye